adjustable in tilt uh, and also in height. The height of the seat is adjusted using the coil spring on the shock absorber. Uh, if you tighten the spring and compress it, the seat is automatically going to go down. If you loosen it and expand it, the seat is going to be up. So you can adjust the seat height. And once you've adjusted the seat height, it doesn't change the level of cushion potential. It just changes the seat height. But we've got a little valve that allows when you compress the shock absorber, there's oils that flow from one chamber to the next. And there's a little valve that you adjust to increase the flow or decrease the flow. And what that does is it increases the level of cushion or decreases the level of cushion. So the cushion on the seat, when you're sitting on the seat, the seat actually, I can't do it up here, I'll break a shoulder, but um, brakes are on. You're sitting in a chair and it is cushion. With your feet up, it's a cushion chair. Up, down, I want to go back. Uh, yeah. <laughs> again, it's comfortable for me. <laughs> I know it's going to be comfortable for Dr. J. So it, it can actually become a recliner at camp, you know, which is nice because, geez, let's lay back, relax a little bit. You can, of course, you don't have the same build that I do, so you'll yeah. be a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> but yeah, so that seat actually cushions well. And, and you put 100 pounds on there versus 200 pounds, you know, so there's a lot of, of, of variability and adjustability on this, on this particular wheelchair. So as you see, it goes together pretty easy. Comes apart the same way. Backs up kind of nice and deep. So I think this is going to be a... Uh, a win-win situation all the way around. So before we do it, just let somebody else. Questions? 